Logan the Layman Critic here. Today's review is for Police Story 2013, also known in the U.S. as Police Story Lockdown. It's directed by Ding Sheng and stars Jackie Chan. Let's talk movies. Zong Wen is a cop who's trying to reconcile with his estranged daughter. He goes to meet her in a nightclub, which turns out to be a trap. The owner has lured Zong and several other people from a previous case years back to exact revenge on them. Like its predecessor, Lockdown is a standalone film for the series, and it continues down the artistic and narrative direction that New Police Story started. It's darker and more dramatic in tone, and the fight choreography is less stylized and more practical. The story itself is a combination of Die Hard and a whodunit thriller. I enjoyed the narrative creativity that the director and editor employed. The editor, uh, Ismael Gomez, frequently resorts to flashbacks or depicts hypothetical outcomes and it keeps you on your toes. It reminded me of Tarantino's work, although the story itself is told in a linear narrative. Uh, having new police story as a way of breaking me into the new style for this series, I'm less critical of Lockdown's deviation from the traditional formula. Uh, Jackie's fight scenes are more sparse in this movie, and they're more in the vein of MMA or ultimate fighting. I think it suits the overall tone of the movie, and I wasn't bothered with it. I was actually more engaged in the story and figuring out the mystery. Jackie gets to perfect his dramatic turn. His character is like a somber John McClane, uh, which is, uh, that's actually something worth noting. Uh, I, I can't think of anything humorous that Jackie Chan says or does in this movie. Uh, even New Police Story had one or two lighthearted moments for him, but Lockdown is all-out seriousness. And the movie itself is not humorless, but my point is that this film doesn't deal in Jackie doing any gags. Liu Ye, I, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, he plays a compelling villain in Wu Jiang, his character has lots of layers to him, which we get to see as we get further toward the truth of it all. I don't want to say any more at the risk of spoiling things, but he gave a good performance. Um, Jing Tian plays Zong's daughter Miao. You may recognize her from Kong Skull Island. Her character goes through all sorts of emotional turmoil. Other than working as a foil for Jackie, though, she's not given a whole lot to do, but she does do her job well, and she's cute, so... Uh, Police Story 2013, or Police Story Lockdown, whichever you prefer calling it. I'm going to say it's one of my favorite in the series, next to the original and Super Cop. I liked the actors, and I dug the story. It was a cool flick. This will likely be the last Jackie Chan movie I review for a while. I originally intended on reviewing The Accidental Spy, but the U.S. release, which is the only one I have access to, um, it made substantial alterations, and... I didn't think it fair to review it unless it had better resemblance, closeness, whatever, to its native incarnation. Um, he does, Jackie Chan does have a, a film with Pierce Brosnan that's coming out toward the end of the year called uh, The Foreigner. I plan on reviewing that one, but for the time being, Jackie will be on hiatus here at Let's Talk Movies. So. Thanks for watching.